just take the BMS SD card out. Down here, push it in. Pops out a little. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that straight into an SD card holder into the slot there so that I don't lose it. Okay, so we have our data on our USB stick. So let's pop that into the computer and that'll come up on the left. Doesn't like that one. Okay, there we have it. So this is the SD card. I'll double click it. And here we have our day files. What I will do is copy the last seven days, last eight days of data to a local directory. This is what you may have to do if you're asked to send data. These files, the current size is 2.43 megabytes and that's quite large, so we'll need to zip them. But let's copy them off here first to a local directory. And let's put them in this directory called local BMS. Just right click and paste. Okay, so they're there. Now, I'm going to want to zip the files. Windows as default doesn't have a, a zipping program, so you're going to need to download one. If you just type in 7-zip, it's a free one. Go to 7-zip.org, and there you'll find the appropriate Windows executable, downloadable files. It's 32-bit and 64-bit, so check what your system is and download the right one. Okay, so I have that downloaded already and it appears here. I can see it here, 7-zip. Now I want to add that to an archive. So here, I go here and press click, add to archive. It's going to send, uh, save the file as a zip file called local BMS. I'm going to use the zip format. As default, sometimes it's on 7-zip, just change it to, to zip. Zip's more common than 7-zip. I'm in the right directory now. I'm just going to click OK. So there's our file. So our 2.4 megabytes file has now been compressed to 164 kilobytes. If you're curious and you want to have a look at what's in that file, if you ever receive a zip file, again right click, go to 7-zip, and extract to local BMS, this folder. It'll extract to a local, we'll create a new folder, that's what that option does, and it'll extract the files into it. So there's those files now, and there we can see them reflated. So this file is the one you'll want to attach to an email, and that size is much easier for your email application to handle. Okay, thanks for watching.